Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Also, Ethereum worked out pretty well after my video earlier today. I believe we just pumped after that video, yeah, fulfilled the wave three here in yellow. Um, we did miss the target by a few dollars so far. Uh, we're con currently consolidating bullish. There is currently no evidence that this wave three that we're doing is finished. But we'll get to that in a minute. So overall, um, I added various subwaves earlier today in the uh, in the wave count here to make uh, to just to highlight here the series of one two setups that are building here, which can be very bullish to be honest. Which can be very bullish. It's an extremely bullish setup. If you get too many of those one two setups, then it can get unrealistic. Um, therefore, we still need to keep an eye on the potentially less bullish scenario. This sort of less bullish scenario would suggest that we're going below 1560. We'll lose that level and we'll get into the region between 1230 and 1440. That is the, la the larger wave two retracement, still a bullish retracement, just a corrective wave in an uptrend, after which we would expect a very, very bullish wave three rally to the upside that should take us above $1,800 and well be way beyond that, okay? Um, that is sort of the less bullish scenario, in my opinion, that will only become primary expectation if we go below 1560. As long as this is the case, I focus on higher. And to be honest, we are very, very close to breaking that $1,785 level. If we get above that, I think that would be further confirmation for my primary expectation. Because um, the only way then to keep this up in the in the less bullish scenario would be to look at an overshooting wave B. So basically a wave A down, an overshooting wave B and a wave C in an expanded flat pattern. However, an overshooting wave B is rare. Of course it happens, but it's rare and therefore would reduce the probability for the imminently uh, yeah, less bullish scenario. So overall, earlier today, I added all these subwaves here just to make you understand, help you understand how it's going on. Already here, yeah, already here, that was on the 5th of August, we talked about the base channel here, which was broken. That is a signal that wave two in yellow was finished. Yes, we lost it, not a problem, still a signal that wave two was finished. And indeed, since then we have only pushing higher, higher lows, higher lows and higher highs as well. Um, and we even reached uh, nearly, nearly, we lost, uh, missed it by a few dollars here, that wave three target in yellow, okay? So what was the wave three target? In yellow, we can just double check that by looking at the Fibonacci extensions here. Um, that was 1785, basically. No? 1785, I believe, I, I could be that I mentioned that uh, we might get rejected here just before le reaching that 1785 here at the wave one high. Now, we didn't really come down, we're just consolidating at the moment, which is bullish. It could be wave three is already done. There is currently no evidence for that. But it could be wave three is already done and we're now heading down in a wave four. That would be in the region between 1737 and 1760. So very, very shallow retracement. Um, what it does not, what it must not do is to go below 1728. Then we cannot count this anymore as a wave four and it will be something else, maybe a wave two. And if you lose this wave two in yellow, which is at 1692, then we can also, then we have to get rid completely of that yellow one, two setup. And we might need to go to the higher level wave count here of just this wave uh, one, two and argue that, all right, here wave two in pink was never finished. But we'll, at the moment, as long as this low here is holding, we can focus on higher. Primarily, I would expect very soon to get into this yellow area, uh, into this green target area that I just outlined. And then in a wave five to push higher and to break that previous high at 1783, 1784 here, the previous wave one high. We can then continue to fulfill all these patterns. And to be honest, if this is all playing out as it is indicated on the chart, this will take us above $2,000, yeah? Um, already, where was it? somewhere here. I told you the rally is far from finished. Um, that is still my primary expectation. There is the risk though that we get um, first of all a retracement here in a wave two before we go higher. But that's only the secondary scenario. Uh, at the moment we can focus on higher imminently. Okay. That's currently my view here of um, Ethereum. I already started to take some profits in line with my sell orders on Discord for channel members. Took some profits just to take some risk off the table just to account for the situation that we could come down first of all here in a wave two retracement 
not bothered about that. Uh, I only took 15% so far uh, of my open position that is in profit here. But um, I will take more along the way, yeah, because it is not just going to the moon from here. There will be a wave two retracement. Um, if it is now, yeah, which is not primarily what I believe, or if it will happen later, but then this target range will go higher. Um, it's not a problem, you know, um, there will always be opportunities and that's what it's about. I try to catch the waves here, the larger waves, buy and sell those larger waves. Um, okay, that's going to be my view about Ethereum. So working out perfectly at the moment. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and also maybe check out the channel membership where you can get access to the Telegram live chat groups, the Discord server, and all sorts of additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.